Okay, uh, thank you everyone for coming today. This has been, uh, yeah, a kind of big, big learning process for us. You know, any, anytime you start a program from scratch, there are, there are a certain amount of challenges. And uh, going into a new conference, new geography, new referees, new stadia, new opponents, everything has been uh, new for us uh, every single week. And I think um, joining us today are three guys who've been here for for four years each, I think, and, and so they've, they've learned what it takes to compete at this level. Uh, you know, we're the, the first and only Division II, NCAA Division II program in the state, so it's, uh, it, it's been fun. And, and what, what has happened, uh, what's uh, transpired in the last couple of weeks since we've been here uh, in preseason is uh, we have added, we, we, we doubled our team. We returned 16 guys and added 15 or 15 and 16. Uh, we brought in a really good freshman class and um, it's a good mix of transfers to kind of fill us up, fill out the rest of the, the squad. And it's been, uh, I wouldn't say it's been seamless, but I think it's been pretty good. The guys that we have, the, the returning guys have taken leadership positions and understand what it is to, uh, to model uh, the correct behavior and, and performance standards for what we're expecting. And so uh, uh, probably the other thing we did to you this year is we, we tried to up the quality of our of our non-conference schedule, right? When you start to get good and you think you can play some people. Um, so we're playing Illinois Springfield, who went to the NCAA tournament last year on a Sunday, on a bye Sunday late in the season. And that's something we would never have uh, aspired to do, certainly a couple of years ago, and not been capable of, uh, of challenging uh, people like that. So we think we've, we've made good progress. Um, we have a lot of returners. We have depth that we've never had before. And that's probably, I think, uh, the guys I think would agree with me. The, big, the biggest difference is, <clears throat> you know, in the past, we would play good teams. And, and, and as teams start to platoon a little bit and substitute later in the season as you pick up injuries and cards, uh, other teams would bring on four, five, six, seven good players. And, and we, we didn't have the depth and the experience to do that. You know, guys have been in the weight room. Guys have worked hard in the summer. Um, so I feel, I feel optimistic, right? Um, it, it's, a, it's a challenging conference. Uh, we travel a lot of miles, but I think uh, I think we're ready. So um, I'll give a little shout out to, to Vuk Mastelovich, who, who who graduated, but has joined us the coaching staff and has been terrific, uh, replacing Zach Nyberger, who went on to uh, to Marquette. So we're we're excited to have his experience and his knowledge and, as well. And, and we have Jake Leonard and some other guys helping us out. It makes makes a big difference when you can do that. So yeah, we're ready. We've improved. We're getting there. Well, we, you know, it gets real on, on Wednesday. We, we go on our first road trip to, uh, to Truman State down in Kirksville, Missouri on Thursday. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, you know, we'll, not everyone will travel. We've got 31 guys. 20, 20 or 22 will make the bus, make the travel squad. And uh, that, that's when it will get a little more real for some guys. But we, we've just been, you know, as we have for four years, we've been encouraging simplicity and uh, unselfishness. And, and the guys, uh, I think the, the senior speaking today will attest to it. It's just been, um, it's been good. And one of the, you know, I've been doing this a while. And when I first started, when I was first a head coach uh, in the 80s, uh, I was 24 years old. I recruited guys. I just finished, you know, playing college and professionally. I recruited guys that I wanted to hang out with, that I, I would have wanted to play college with. And that's really been my recruiting philosophy ever since. So uh, for the most part, they're good guys. And good guys make it easier. You know, if you're competent and, and you're willing to work hard and you're willing to, to be a part of the group, uh, no problems. So it's been good. Going off of that last game, uh, I think it, like, it was something that we never experienced. And I think it's something that hurt us a lot. Uh, you know, throughout our offseason, but I also think it's a privilege to be in that situation because uh, years past, we haven't even got to the playoffs. Um, we lost in the playoffs in just regular time. But to go that far and, uh, you know, to not succeed and to have it sting even more is just, uh, I think it's just a privilege to even have that opportunity and just have the opportunity to make it to the next round and keep progressing. So uh, I think this year, um, We've all experienced a playoff loss, so I think we've all experienced, uh, you know, the hurt and uh, the damage that it did to us, and it just built us uh, to be an even stronger team this year. Uh, last spring was probably the most interesting spring uh, we've ever had at St. Cloud State. Uh, we had so many changes, you know, on a weekly basis. We had a coach 
uh, that got an opportunity elsewhere. He left us. We got new players coming in. We had injured players, um, you know, almost on a weekly basis. So I think we're a team that's ready to adapt and we're ready to change. Uh, and we're ready to bring in new guys. Uh, like Andre said, bringing in new players with uh, different play styles. It's just, uh, it's really fun to watch and it's really exciting. And I think other teams aren't going to be ready for the, uh, the preparation that uh, all of us have, have put in, in these last two weeks. And I think uh, we're just ready uh, and excited to show it on Thursday in our game. Well, as a freshman, I was fortunate enough to play, I think start almost every game. And uh, that continued into my sophomore and junior year. So as far as experience goes, um, I think that just playing all those games, actually being in the moment. And then I've also been fortunate to learn from three really good leaders in particular. Uh, Vuk, who's sitting behind you, uh, Gage Steiner, and Eddie Sadie, three older leaders who, uh, if you spend time with them, you learn what it means to be a leader and be a good person. Well, I, uh, I've played almost every position on the field except for about two. <laughs> I started as a right winger and then probably eventually moved to the left a few times when E-Man was struggling on the left. And then, uh, then I got switched back to right back or right wing back and then uh, found myself in the midfield. Uh, I've kind of played all three parts of the midfield. So when you play just about everywhere on the field, you learn how to <laughs> be adaptable and um, that's, that's the uh, sole definition of experience, I think. Yeah, that game really stung us. Um, I was on the bench, so it kind of hurt a little more that I wasn't out there being able to help um, the team. But uh, I think we just we just go into the off season like like normal, you know, just getting better, getting stronger. Um, me personally, that's all I did is the off season was try to get stronger, coming back from a hard injury, and I know these guys um, did the same and just get ready for for this season. Um, I have personal goals that I'll keep to myself, but I think that as a team, you know, we want to win the GLIAC and then make a deep run into the tournament. I think it's good bringing in new guys, um, new faces, new play styles. Um, we did lose some good players, but like Coach said, we brought in new players, and every day it's practice, it's, it's hard to see who's, who's the best guys, right? Because everyone's here to compete. Everyone um, could fight for that starting 11, and I think it's – it's good that we brought in a lot of new guys, a lot of new transfers, and I know everyone's ready to go. Yeah, um, it was a cool moment. Um, I didn't really expect it. Didn't really get much playing time until up in Davenport. Coach threw me in and told me to go have fun. I ended up scoring, and then from there, it's I kind of just took off, really. Um, but yeah, like I said, that was before the injury, and now this is me after, so I'm hungrier than ever. and. You know, of course I have personal goals, but my main focus is to be the best team in the GLIAC.